Well, today we're in Dallas, Texas at Hague Engineering with Scott Morrison. And Scott, as you can see, is doing some damage to some roof shingles here. And why are you breaking these tiles? Well, every year in the United States, many thousands of roof coverings are damaged. And the ice ball launcher gives us uh, the opportunity to take a look at these roofing materials in the laboratory. And then the opportunity then for the manufacturers to improve their materials. So this is just like hail actually hitting the roof? We're simulating hail here in the laboratory. Well, show me some of these ice balls that simulate hail. Good. This is how we manufacture our ice balls. This is a two and a quarter inch diameter and a one inch stone. Our goal is to build near clear ice balls so they're just a tad harder than mother nature's. Okay, and then you shoot all different sizes at the shingles. We sure do. A one inch stone would travel at 50 miles an hour. And then how about this big stone? How fast will you shoot it at? Two and a quarter inch stone, 82 miles an hour. Okay, well let's go test some shingles. Today we'll be shooting one and three quarter inch golf ball size ice balls at several different types of roof coverings. Our ice ball will be shot at exactly 76 miles per hour. The launcher works much like a high tech spear gun. The elastic bands are stretched to a predetermined length and locked in place. Then the technician loads the ice ball. A laser beam is used to take aim, and now it's time to fire. First up, ceramic tile. As you can see, the ceramic tile didn't hold up very well. So let's try your average household asphalt composite roof shingle. I am happy that we have the safety glass. That was close. We've got a normal asphalt shingle here? Yes, this is a one and three quarter inch impact, you can see the depression, feel it mm -hmm. with your finger, and you also feel a soft spot, kind of like a bruise on an apple. It doesn't look bad though, does it? If we turn the shingle over, you can see that the fracture actually started on the back side. So in time, this would weather and we'd find a hole in the shingle. It'll actually come apart right here, won't it? Right. You can see your finger through it now, just peel it on a little bit. Important because about 85% of our residences are covered with asphalt shingles. And these are brand new shingles, so they can take more of an impact than the shingle that's been up there for a few years. Absolutely that. Asphalt becomes brittle over time, and it's more sensitive to impact damage. So we could have some serious damage from hail. Well, let's check out some of the other shingles. So, Scott, what's going to happen when we shoot a wood shake with the uh, ice ball? We're going to have a dent and a coincidence split. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and shoot it and see if that happens. Wow, that really pops off there. We do have the dent you were talking about, and we sure did split the wood, the full length of the wood, didn't we? And the split runs right through our dent. Yeah. We're going to find with wood that you don't necessarily have a leak at this point because we have two plies of wood and then another layer of felt. Mm -hmm. It's a number 30 felt. Unfortunately, wood shakes get uh, a bad rap for hail mm -hmm. just because people tend to leave their wood shakes longer on the roof and they become very thin. When they're thin, they don't aren't particularly hail resistant. So Scott, now we've got a steel shingle that we're going to shoot? Yes, we have a pressed metal panel that's coated with ceramic granules. And what's going to happen when we hit this one? Probably just see a dent. Just a dent. All right. Well, let's go ahead and shoot it. Steve, if you're ready, we're ready. Yeah, I'd say not much of a dent. I mean, you've got a little place there, but nothing big. Steel panels are extremely impact resistant. Rarely would we damage one with less than a two and a half inch diameter hailstone. There are times though when owners are concerned about dents that occur in the panel. You'll never see that from the ground. We also tried a painted metal roof using a larger two and one quarter inch hailstone. We haven't damaged functionally the roofing, we haven't fractured the metal haven't interrupted the paint coating, but we do have a dent, and that is a cosmetic concern with a lot of people. Sometimes dents aren't particularly visible uh, depending upon the lighting conditions outdoors. Now, Scott, what is this? This is a plastic material containing a lot of recycled plastic parts. Uh, with all the concern for impact-resistant roofing, we're seeing a lot of innovative roofing products come into the marketplace. Well, it feels almost like rubber. You say it's plastic, but it feels like rubber. I mean, it should take an impact pretty well, shouldn't it? I think it will. Okay, well, let's go ahead and shoot it. I'm anxious to see. Okay, Steve. Wow, that ricocheted all over the lab. There is no dent whatsoever, not even a scratch, is there? Can't even tell where it impacted. Nothing on the backside either? I take it something like this is going to be a little more expensive? 
more expensive than our typical asphalt shingles, probably three or four times. But you're never ever going to have to re-roof because of hail damage, are you? No. Your roof is one of the biggest investments in your home. It's important to know that your roof can stand up to punishment like this.